Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, one of the last parts here of the uh, series. Um, you, as you can tell, I have painted the uh, main unit here and uh, gave the body a good coating of paint and the tailpiece there is painted on both sides so it's pretty much ready to go. I also uh, applied some silicone which doesn't make it as nice looking but um, fill in all those holes so uh, water doesn't get in. For sure so um and also on the back side and along this uh the joint here where you, the front and the back goes together all right so now all that we have left to do is connect these two leads um with a i bought some bell wire similar to the same stuff that this is although it's a uh, hundred foot str uh, strand of wire so I'm just going to solder these two together, wrap it up with some electrical tape, and uh, kind of zip tie it to the top here so that it will uh, kind of stay in place so it doesn't put any strain on the wires and then run it down all the way down the pole when I get to the location where I'm going to mount it. And, uh, and then at the very base of it, I'm going to hook up this uh, diode bridge rectifier and uh, I'll take that out in a minute after I solder these together and I'll uh, show you how to hook it up to this. This will be uh, at the ba very base at the end of the wire and then two wires will run off of this to the battery. So um, I'll show you how to do that here soon. I'm going to go ahead and put these together and uh, show you the end result here. Alright, I'm back. I want to show you here where these two wires exit the uh, pipe here. I uh, secured those down with some electrical tape and uh, soldered those two wires with the uh, red and white wires um, and individually wrapped those with electrical tape and then wrapped them together with electrical tape and secured them down with two zip ties. Now this piece here you may be wondering what it is. It's just a, uh, it's a spool that I had some wire on and it makes for a good uh, buffer here so when you put this thing down in your uh, conduit or whatever you plan on mounting this inside of, um, it'll sit on top of the other and allow it to turn into the wind. So it makes for a nice little piece there. It was hard to find something that, that would actually work the way that I wanted it to, but I've used uh, one for a couple years and it's held up fine. Um, there may be a tiny groove in it by now, but you know, it's been pretty, pretty solid. So, uh, Anyways, I took off about 50 feet of this wire, and um, basically this is just nothing but bell wire. It's just like the green and, and uh, yellow wire there, so um, it's not very heavy gauge or anything. But this is a diode bridge rectifier, and um, I wanted to mention that however you uh, solder these together, it doesn't really matter, um, just as long as they're, you know, uh, separate and not connecting and shorting out so you want to see on this thing here that uh, it's labeled this thing will focus today it's labeled AC and, and the positive which is going to go off to the battery so this is an AC terminal this is an AC terminal here so the ones that are across from another AC this is positive and negative output. So what you do is you put both of your AC wires here, doesn't matter which one, and then what you want to do then is take some, you can take some more wire off that spool that I had and uh, just hook you up some positive and negative wires, red obviously being positive and the white could be as a negative. And um, once you do that, you can then hook it up to the multimeter and you can see DC voltage coming off of this thing when you spin it. So that's essentially how it works. Is there's no magic behind it. You just uh, solder them on there so it's nice and secure. But you want to put this at the base of the wire at the very end so that you can put this inside of your battery box and hook it up to your battery. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, myself, but I will go ahead and put this on just so you can see the DC readings that come off of it. Uh, as a result so um, and then we can take this thing and get it mounted and uh, 
it will be ready uh, ready to go other than hooking it hooking it up to a battery now I did want to mention that when you do hook this up to a load a battery or a light or whatever it is that you're wanting to you know power or charge it will make this fan slow down and harder to turn so something to keep in mind uh, the better blades you have the easier it will turn in low wind um, but when you hook it up to a battery it's going to become a lot harder for the wind to, to get it going so just wanted to throw that out there all right i'll get this hooked up and uh, i'll show you the result and then we'll do some voltage testing on it all right everybody i'm back and i have these uh two wires uh soldered on here and it does matter one of these is a positive and a negative wire coming from the fan uh, so I was mistaken about that, but I, I couldn't get, I swapped them out on the multimeter. I couldn't get it to give me a negative reading, so I couldn't isolate that. But uh, nonetheless, I hooked it up, AC here, AC here. I uh, hooked up the, uh, I ran this one from, uh, this is the positive corner. I ran it to the positive lead and the negative to the negative lead, and I was getting a negative voltage, so... That tells me that it's uh, it's, these two wires are backwards, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to solder a red uh, a white wire on this one to tell me that it's negative. It'll be fine, and then a positive one over here, and that'll tell me that that one's positive. So I'll just have to make a mental note to do those that way. But just uh, future reference, if you can isolate these two wires, which one's positive and negative, then uh, you might want to make sure to do that so you don't get confused. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pop these other two wires on here, and then I'm going to load it up and take it over and get this thing installed. So we got the turbine spinning now. We've got it mounted up on top of the roof. It's probably 5 to 10 miles an hour out here, and it's turning pretty good. I'd say it's about 20 volts right now. Not a ton. But that's pretty good in this low level wind here. Tomorrow we're supposed to have some uh, stronger weather coming through and it'll blow a lot harder. But if it stays that constant, you can keep your batteries charged on that. So that's pretty neat. Uh, but you can see how the tailpiece back there is. Uh, kind of moving around trying to turn it into the wind and out of the wind as it gets stronger so uh, this is pretty much it of this uh, on the uh, ceiling fan wind turbine series so I hope you've enjoyed it and hope you've learned something uh, it was definitely fun for me putting the, the second one together so um, leave any comments or any questions I'll be happy to try and answer them as much as I can thanks for watching thanks for watching be sure to click subscribe to get updates directly in your inbox.